Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. So thankful we got another great recipe coming up. Today we're going to make waffle cornbread. What a concept, right? Making cornbread in a waffle iron. But we're going to put a little twist in it. So you're going to use the same ingredients to make cornbread, except we're going to add a few more. The ingredients that you're going to use today is Cornbread, mill. You can get corn mill at the store. Jalapenos. We got some pinto beans. Got some garlic. Some butter. <laughs> We're gonna add some corn to the cornbread. Bacon bits. Baking powder. I already say evaporated milk. Eggs, of course, because you gotta have that binder. You're gonna need a little bit of oil for your waffle iron. All right, let's get started. I like using things like corn, canned milk because it's creamier and richer. So there's our milk. Remember, I said one and one third. That looks like a third. We're going to add just a few drops of lemon juice because that's going to make the milk kind of sour. Which creates that buttermilk kind of flavor to the milk. Okay, we need one large egg. One fourth cup on a tube of butter is four teaspoons. One fourth of salt is a pinch of salt. So, hey, that's a pinch, right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar to it because I like my cornbread a little sweeter. A couple tablespoons or teaspoons, whatever you want. This is cornmeal flour. This is a half cup. baking powder until kind of later because when you over mix baking powder it makes your batter kind of flatten. So I'm going to cut some of this corn off the cob into the bowl. I like fresh corn on the cob. Okay, I'm going to add some jalapenos so they'll be ready. I'm going to make this southwestern style cornbread. I suppose it's southwestern because there's going to be beans and jalapenos and corn in it and the already cornbread. This is just regular pinto beans that the label fell off of. I'm going to rinse them off a little bit. I don't want that slimy stuff in them. It comes in beans, which is just a water and additive or whatever. So there's my pinto beans. I'm just going to add a handful of those for consistency. Now they're going to um, kind of get broken up. I've got bacon bits here. That looks like enough. A couple tablespoons. This is baking powder. About a half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon. Teaspoon. Teaspoon works. We'll just sprinkle a little bit in there. Looks like a half a teaspoon. Now we need our garlic. Spoon to my little garlic press. Smushes it all up. The other one in there. This is going to be so delicious. Take this and I'm going to work this ingredients all in there. I 
Might have to add some more milk because it's thickened up a little bit. I don't want them to be too thick. Because, you know, it's a waffle iron, right? That looks good. Look at that ingredients. It smells delicious. All right. We got our little thingy me bobber that has little things on it so you can dip it in the oil. I'm gonna put it all over the waffle iron. It's like a, I guess it's probably a half a cup to a cup. And when it says done on the waffle iron, just like a pancake, it should be done. I'm here, start off ready, but it's not really ready. There we go. We set this aside and we'll repeat the process and soon we'll be able to plate it and try it. All right, our first waffle looks like it's ready. It's nice and brown on top and I just stuck my fork in there to see if it comes out clean and it looks like it's ready. There's our first waffle. We're going to repeat the process. All right, let's plate this last one. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Now what I like to do is smother it with some butter. If you love cornbread, you're going to love this recipe. This is like the best recipe for cornbread ever. Cornbread waffle cakes, southwestern style. I can't wait to try this. Got bacon bits and jalapenos and pinto beans and corn. This is going to be good. Mm. It's like a meal in one. Join us next time for another great recipe on Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. And remember, folks, if you have a great recipe you would like me to share on my show and have your name mentioned, please email me at genibdelicious at gmail.com. Bye, y'all.